Previously on Healthy Junk Food, JP and Julia, that's us, we made giant chicken McNuggets inside a giant chicken McNugget box. What do you need the box for? I just made it to have it. Just keep it in my bedroom. And Julia made a grown man cry. We're actually not feeding this to you today. <gasps> Now you're going to divorce us? We teased the idea of creating a giant Happy Meal. So this is a little bit of what's coming up next. But before we do that, we need to make a giant small french fry. And then this will all go in the Happy Meal. So come along on our three-part episodic journey as we travel great lengths to bring you another video on YouTube. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. Oh my god, is that Bill Murray? JP's been missing his potato peeling job for a really long time now. Here it is, JP. Thank you. You like it? Yeah. You don't need to have Dave Hacks help you. He's a hack. Look how fast I am. Today we're going to show you how to peel a potato. <laughs> Let's see which one actually is faster. You also are using a sharp object, so be careful. No, I'm fine. Mine's not dangerous. Ah! <gasps> we're cubing these potatoes. Why? Because they heat up faster. Are you done? I win! Wait! There's the other secret ingredient, taro corn syrup. So it gives you that McDonald's flavor. Are you sure? Yeah. Put the potatoes in a food processor or mash them by hand, or you can use lots of other things, including a meat grinder. It's like a workout video. And, 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 masa flour is in there, the salt's in there. It's definitely looking thicker. So you're gonna take a pan, layer with parchment paper, and then pour in your potato mixture. Once you've flattened it out, Put another piece of parchment right on top and then roll it with a rolling pin to make sure it's an even layer throughout. We're sticking it in the freezer and in a couple hours, we're gonna cut these into the long fries, the ones that will be in the McDonald's Happy Meal. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Audible. And while you're watching this video, we're probably using Audible because that's literally all we do when we're not doing YouTube. Julia doesn't even talk to me anymore. It's been great. <gasps> <gasps> And now that it's summer and you got all that free time, you can binge audiobooks lounging out by the pool, crawling through grass, on a road trip, going for a brisk jog outside. And right now, we're giving away a free audiobook to you guys, any price, with a 30-day trial membership. But you have to use our link in the description, audible.com slash HJF, or text HJF to 500-500. Right now, we're on an Anthony Bourdain binge, Kitchen Confidential. I highly advise you get that as your free audiobook download. And then immediately follow up with medium raw, but make sure you use the link audible.com slash HJF or text HJF to 500-500. And if you're already on Audible, we love hearing your suggestions in the comments below. So let us know, what should we download next? I love food and I love listening to people talk about food. Download Audible today. To create our giant shoestring fry, we need to triple these dimensions, otherwise it's not gonna look right. Take your frozen sheet of potatoes and square it off. Now all you have to do is cut one inch strips to become your fries. Wow. <laughs> McDonald's fry. <laughs> These definitely should be served to a small child. Well, they're still young and resilient and can handle all the grease. That's my problem right now. I'm old and unresilient. I'm frail and fragile. We're still waiting for the deep fryer to be preheated. Then our test subjects are going down. In the meantime, watch JP build the french fry carton. Still hasn't been done. Arts and crafts time with the peers. Everyone pee with me. Hey guys, it's Arts and Crafts Times with JP. As usual, I am on bag duty, but I have great news. I found a faster way to do this. A way you can do this at home. Instead of doing all that horrible measuring, we're just going to take a picture of the bag unfolded and then trace around the box using Photoshop. Then I traced all the fold lines and made them blue so you knew to fold and not cut. And better yet, you don't have to do any of this. We have a download link at healthyjunkfood.com. Now just open it using Adobe Acrobat Reader, press print, have the settings set to poster, and look, it prints it out in multiple sheets. Now it can be used as your stencil. No measuring. I'm almost done with the fry box. Hurry up, my fries are going in the fryer. What do you think's gonna happen to them? Deep fry. This looks a lot like the french fry that I use that disintegrated. <gasps> Ow, stop! Deep fryer! Lift them up, I want to see them. They're doing it. They're working? Yes, it's working. Yeah, all we're looking is for that perfect golden brown color. They're doing it, they're fries! How do they look? Ooh, they look good! That looks so good! What? They're McDonald's french fries, and they're bigger than average! My case is almost done. 
It looks like a mess here, but it'll all make sense very soon, I promise. And we're back with Dr. Krauss with JP. You know those yellow stripes on the french fry box? Those are very important for the look. So, we're gonna do that with label paper. Now we can just fold it all up, tape it together, and put that signature golden arch right on top. I gotta tell you, it was very, very difficult to cut out this shape and place it on the box. See, it's crooked. But I do believe it's those subtle imperfections that make us who we are today. We are imperfect people living in a world that demands so much. Oh my god, the french fries are going to fit in here perfect. You even did the stripey part. Yeah. You sure do know how to build some stuff. I hope that you're teaching everybody how to do it real well too. Yeah. Because I know everybody's going to want to make this. Yeah, it's easy. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Can I open it? Yeah. Is it fragile? It's a little fragile, but you can do it. It's even got the grease. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so hungry, we've been cooking this for days. All I ate was vegetables. No! It's day 76. Just kidding, it's day three. We have the french fries ready for their double deep fry. They look like french fries. Let's see what they look like just in the box as they're frozen. There it is. Oh, it's kind of too short. Oh no! We're gonna have to modify this. No one knows that we did this. They look kind of tall. Uh oh. Look, he put them in. Too tall. Yeah. I knew it! If you watch the McNugget video, then you already know that we didn't eat all of our nuggets yet. They're in the freezer because they have to all go together in the Happy Meal. JP's gonna make a really big box and all of this has to fit inside. Hey, can I eat that? Are you gonna make a nice box? Can I eat the thing? Yeah. Let's eat it. Guys, if you wanna know how we made this, you have to see the other video. You probably already saw it, but if you didn't, the link is in the description. You know, we really should have ketchup with these fries. Yeah, let's get some ketchup instead. I actually have a whole lot of ketchup! I don't buy sauce packets, they're too small. You have to open all of them in order to eat a lot of it, and you're always going to eat a lot of it, so you always have to open a lot. That's a little bit too time consuming. I go for the big squirt. Alright, well, you made us all feel uncomfortable. Oh, there's a crunch. Give me that. Mmm, that's good. I love potatoes. Are you already eating it? Yeah. Mmm. It's so soft and supple on the inside. Mm. GP, you did a pretty good job. That box that you created was incredible. I think those french fries look perfect inside. That's the best fry you've made so far on this channel. That's the greatest fry I've ever made? Yeah! It was so good. And I have more. I can't wait to share them with our friends. We have to wait though. You have to build the Happy Meal box. Go. Go build it. You... Don't show it. <laughs> is this sanitary? Yeah. Okay. I washed my hands. I'm okay. You know, I made that pouch. Is that for sanitary? You're gonna have to tell me. Yeah. I believe you. It's fine. I'm gonna have to watch back the video and find out. 